Brian Mahalik. I am a member of the PV team, um, curriculum developer and instructor. The beauty of the body of curriculum at SCI is that it has been developed over so many years. It's constantly growing, it's constantly evolving, keeping up with changes in the industry. What makes our curriculum the best is not only the curriculum team that works on it, that's only a little piece of it, but it's also the instructors that we get to draw on to who teach the classes and then come back with feedback for us to implement and to update the curriculum and so that it always stays fresh and connected to the industry. We have a core team. We have about 40 instructors. Since we have such a diverse team, we have a, a series of different different reviews and, and um, vetting of, of all of our curriculum to ensure that it's up to the highest standard. When we teach classes and we develop curriculum is we have a team. And that team approach means that we don't have one perspective. We have this wide perspective. We can write content and that gets vetted by our whole team. And by vetting our content that way, it means it gets better universally because it's not from one person's perspective. It's from really a national and international perspective of multiple professionals. So we really have kind of our own internal think tank, if you will, um, and our own internal committees. So I think that's what makes us the best at what we do. As a team, we can all bring our own strengths together and we can really um, you know, end up with, with a product that's just absolutely amazing. Being really informed about where the industry is, where it's going, what we need to cover, what people need to know, and how to best distill that information down into a way that students can understand it. Well, I think it helps immensely to uh, have the curriculum be interactive. Um, you know, if you sit down and watch a movie, you can be entertained for the moment, but a lot of it doesn't necessarily stick with you. But if you're using all different facets to try and understand concepts and, and apply them in different ways, that's the stuff that really sticks there. And I think one of the, the main goals of SEI is to you know, really get people to critically think and understand these systems um, because they're going to be so much better off in the field later on. Uh, oftentimes in the curriculum, um, we want to go deeper into topics and then, then our textbook can really allow or even a lesson plan can allow for. And so um, within the course, we offer articles that, you know, sometimes they're six pages long, sometimes they're 16 pages long, um, that dive deep, deep, deep into those topics. And oftentimes the folks that have written those articles are also SEI instructors. So some of our curriculum has been being updated literally for 25 years, and so obviously it's very different than it was 25 years ago, but it's constantly evolving curriculum, and so it's just been getting better and better over time, and it will continue to get better, but you know, 25 years is a long time to be working on a piece of curriculum, <laughs> so it's a lot of brain power that went into that. It's constantly evolving, and so we update our curriculum multiple times a year. We're always looking at it, trying to improve it, and make sure that it's the best that it can be, and so it really um, it serves our students in a way that no other curriculum really can.